Hi, I'm Owen Sweeney, and we're going to talk in this video about historical imagery on mapping applications. Now, it would be great if we could travel through time, uh, but the next best thing we have when we go to Google Maps and Google Earth is being able to access historical imagery of locations. We're probably all familiar with Street View. In Street View, it's very useful to be able to look at buildings, at street signs, markings on roads, maybe even vehicles, and things like this to enable us to ascertain locations. It's very easy to look at Street View. All you have to do is look down on the bottom right, and you'll see this little figure known as Pegman. If you click on this, anywhere that you can access Street View imagery, is highlighted in blue. Once you see that, you can click just once on any location and that will take you into street level. And then you'll get a view like this. Now, historical imagery is the same thing, except that you will get multiple views of that area captured over time because the Google streetcar or whatever camera they use will have passed along many areas more than once. Now, they don't dump the old imagery. They actually keep them in the application. So it's not always available because they don't always have multiple imagery of the same spot. You can see in this case, there's only a single image. How do you know that? Because at the top left, all you can see is street view. In cases where there are more than where there is more than one image, you will see at the top left beside street view a little clock icon. If you click on that, you get a drop down with an alternative view. And if you look carefully at that, you will see a little timeline with dots on it. Now, each of those dots represents an earlier or later view of the same location. You can see here it goes from 2009 to 2020. If you want to get a better view of that, you click in the small image and it becomes the main image. So you can then get a clearer view of all the objects and things you need. You can repeat this process with any of those points on the timeline to get older images and even look at the development of an area over time. What uses could this be put to? Well, for example, in this case, it's re revealing some details for us. You can see here that some of the view of that building in the background is blocked by a couple of trucks. Now, up at the top, you have the clock icon, which means there will be earlier views of that same area. When we go into it, we can see that we get to a time when the truck wasn't there. And there's actually an extra benefit here because this image was captured at a different time of year. And you can see the foliage has gone from the trees. And we have a much clearer view of everything in the background. You can also get historical satellite views. And there are generally many more of these available because satellites are constantly circling the Earth and taking images. And to get satellite views, you go to Google Earth rather than Google Maps to get historical satellite views. You also will need to use Google Earth Pro, which is a separate desktop application, but can be downloaded for free from google.com forward slash earth forward slash versions. You can see the link there, Google Earth Pro on desktop. You can download the program, install it on your computer, and then you have access to all these historical satellite images. As for a use case for this, well, here's an interesting one. Say you've gone to this area and you want to see some of the buildings and streets and things here, but you can't because when this satellite view was captured, this particular spot had some cloud cover and some things are obscured. Well, of course, clouds are temporary. They move on, they dissipate. So if you go to the drop down with the clock icon again and go to an earlier date, you get to a day when you're in exactly the same spot, but the skies were clear and you can see everything you need. It can also be useful in situations where an area has changed over time. I was trying to verify the location of a video from this area in Al Tabka in Syria. Now, between the time that the video was captured and this satellite view was captured, there had been heavy armed clashes in the area and there was a lot of destruction buildings were obliterated entirely or damaged beyond recognition. And there's a building near that intersection you can see there, which is now unrecognizable. I was able, however, to go back to an earlier date 
And now you can see the building very clearly. You can see other buildings in the area. And this actually enabled me to put a location on a video. So what are the key uses? As I said, removing obstructions. It could be vehicles. It could be construction work or other things. Then tracking changes over time. And don't forget that if you want historical satellite views, you will need to download Google Earth Pro. So let's see what we can do with this. Here's a challenge. Name the pharmacy that is close to Simpsons in the Strand. You may need to use a search engine to figure out where that is in the first place. But once you do, it's about three doors up the main street on the same side of the street as Simpsons. That street is called Strand. Once you've done that, explain the steps you took. You can submit your answer here. There's a short link and there's a QR code. And if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out either to the organizer at the email shown there or directly to me. I'll always be happy to answer questions. Thank you very much.